Sam, you showed up in the nick of time. I just about given up on our guy Langdon, but he's on the men now, thanks to you. Should be back to work before long. But in the meantime, I'll have to cover for him. Don't worry. He knows he owes you his life. He'll probably be sending you a message to thank you himself soon enough. If I'm being honest, though, it's his own damn fault. An old pro like him shouldn't be letting explosives slip by right under his nose. He should know how clever these damn terrorists are getting. Oh, and thanks for connecting us to the Cairo Network. We're getting a lot more data from the outside world now, and that alone has given morale a pretty big boost. And the printer is the icing on the cake. Can't print everything, though, of course. We'll be relying on you porters for a good while yet. Keep up the good work. Hartman's lab. Until recently, death could only be studied from the perspective of an external observer, as the experience of one's own death could not be communicated to another. A collaborative investigation of the phenomenon was fundamentally impossible, but through the examination of subjects in near-death states and the cataloging of their experiences, we have at last been able to bring the scientific method to bear on this most final frontiers. Even those in a state of so-called brain death exhibit signs of consciousness. What could this possibly mean? Moreover, why do some on the brink of death report out-of-body experiences? Furthermore, why do so many of those who have such experiences describe the same sensations of being beckoned towards a distant light? Many had argued that these commonalities were evidence of an objective reality, of a place beyond life, if nothing else. They at least suggested that death was not an instantaneous change of states, but a process. The beach has since proven much of this beyond a doubt, and the dead rising again as BTs through necrosis demonstrates this process in action. The place beyond life is no longer a theoretical possibility. Its existence must be taken as incontrovertible fact. To the super honorable Mr. Sam Bridges, it gives me great pleasure to report that the way station patch-up job went off without a hitch. That stuff you brought us was just what we needed, man, and now we're part of the network too. No way station is an island, not anymore. We can talk to HQ over the East Coast just like if they were in the room. Which is, uh, that's how we heard those rumors about Central were true. Totally wiped out, huh? Damn, and if you hadn't been there... The UCA's plans would have gone down the tubes. Glad that didn't happen. Keep on keeping on, and don't stop till you hit the ocean. Okay. Alright, we just read that. Let's get out of here. This kid. Back off. Back off. <gasps> I just uh wherever this is going. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges right. Hey Sam. I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. Mm -hmm. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, 
The decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. Hmm. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. I wonder. <laughs> Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. Hmm. I'll let you know if I turn up anything in lightning. Damn. Sam, until the check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. That is that is some dangerous information to be spreading on the wire. The people of Mountain Nut City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. Hmm. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Nut City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Not sure how we're gonna fix that? But that sounds important. Let's do this. How'd we do? Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Ow, painful. Okay. I really thought that would do okay, because it was close? I think? Anyway, that was... bad. Antimatter bomb delivery? Oh! If the theory that tar jets are somehow connected to the beach is correct, then Mountain Knot City may very well be in danger of being consumed by the other side. Which is why they need you to close off the ones in that region before it's too late. However, if we were to use an antimatter bomb, our scientists think it might be enough to sever the connection. They used to research antimatter propulsion technology here before the first expedition. Using antimatter sequestered by the beach, believe it or not. But those experiments were eventually suspended. The researchers never came close to developing anything workable, and the dangers were deemed far too great. When Bridges One arrived, they assumed control of their facilities and antimatter stores. To minimize the risk of a catastrophic annihilation, the antimatter was partitioned using special magnetic traps. We repurpose those traps to make the bomb. Hmm. Once the magnetic field is removed, the antimatter comes into contact with the casing and triggers a void out. Now, it goes without saying, but if one of these things goes off en route, we'll have a catastrophe on our hands. And to make matters worse, the traps weren't designed to be transported. <laughs> sure, the container carrying the bomb has a built-in stabilizer, but it's not something you want to tip over or drop. Damn. If those magnets fail, you're gone, along with everything else for miles around. So yeah, you could call this a dangerous delivery. <laughs> but I can't think of anyone better equipped to handle it. Get it done, Sam. 
We're counting on you. Sounds great. Ah, uh, I don't want any of these. I do want the truck. Ugh. Be advised, Sam. Mm-hmm. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. I have a truck. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Okay. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. Okay. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. Obviously. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. Obviously. The kind we can't come back from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. It's dangerous. Don't drop it. Don't, don't even, don't even bump it slightly. Okay, hold on. I got him overloaded. I, I want to get rid of some junk. And while I'm on it. Ooh, that was damaged. That was also damaged. Okay. I want to get rid of... I don't think I'm going to use this. Uh, oh, no, I want the assault rifle. I want to get rid of a lot of these... Um, Lethal weapons because I'm terrified that I'm gonna use them. Okay, but I like the I like the assault rifle. And I've I think I wanna get rid of that. Got too many. Got too much stuff. Lost cargo. Just turn in this lost cargo then. Oh, what happened? Did it not go? There we go. I'm done. Let's check just to refresh my memories because I turned the game off and now I don't remember. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Orders. Okay, this is the only order we have. It's to get there. Don't bump the thing. Don't breathe on it wrong. Somehow get through BT territory. Let's grab some ceramics and some metals for roads and stuff. Okay. Do I feel like... Alright, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Ugh, I'm concerned about... I need stuff. Okay, I have the bullet gun. I got that. I have actual... Okay, I have some stun bombs. I have a couple stun bombs. And I have a bullet gun. So let's fabricate... That firearm can be loaded with thematic rounds. It's fitted with a dot sight as well. Should improve your aim. Yeah, I'm just terrified of using this stuff. Oh, looks like I can't get a... All right, and I can't fabricate materials because I took everything out of the... Um... <sighs> I took everything out of the building. So I don't think I have anything to fabricate stuff with. I can't make a bullet. I took all the materials out. It's fine. We'll figure it out. I can 
put some materials back. <laughs> but it's fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. Did a dumb thing. Oh god, is this a road for me? Is that what that looks like? Oh god, this is so far. Alright, but I know that we need to turn left, if nothing else. Where does that go? <gasps> Reckless driving! Ugh! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to damage it that quickly. It only suffered a little bit of damage. Don't know, I don't know okay. how much leeway I have with this thing. Oh, tell me I got close enough to give you stuff. Okay, good. And that'll be extra, but it's fine. Okay, I don't have any chiral crystals to give it. I'm not collecting them anymore. All right, how are we doing? I'm just gonna follow this semi road for a while and then kind of hope, I guess. It's kind of what. Oh god, you boosted me, dude. That's dangerous right now. So we can tell the road would go this way. What the hell? Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't think I took the turn that fast, but apparently I did. Holy crap. All right, let's put some stuff into here. Oh, there's nothing in this one. Good thing I have all the metals in the world. That's it? Did I give away all my... Okay. All right, did what I could. We are out of everything. Does this matter? Oh. I should pick those metals up. Hey, I see another truck over there. Uh, I don't know if it's friendly. But I see it. This is oddly just a quiet kind of... Oh, someone's trying to build a bridge. I see that over there. I'm not putting that in there. Just one, so it's fine. I love that his cargo is in the seat next to him. Right on. I'm not picking up the special alloys. Okay. Oh, those are mule pulses. Okay. You guys. Oh, this is gonna suck so much. Oh no, did they pulse me? Shit. Heads up, Sam. Looks like you've tripped an intrusion sensor. To be clear, these sensors react to you, not to your cargo. Be careful. Trouble may be on the way. Just keep going. Oh god! <gasps> oh, why? Why is that so hard? Oh, I just got I gotta keep going, I can't stop. The bomb is too fragile. You gotta get through this. You gotta get through this. Oh god. We're doing okay. <sighs> okay. Alright, 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 alright. Where am I gonna go from here? I have no idea. Somehow I gotta. Oh god.
Bye, excuse me. I gotta keep moving. Thank you for the bridge. I appreciate it. What was that? Oh, are we in BT territory? The rain started? I'm getting this chiral crystal because it's humongous. That's a fade one. And I'm going in the store. Okay. Alright. Where am I and how the... I... I guess I'm going around? Okay. That's fine. Accept this. I think. can't move. There we go. Alright, just, just be careful. That's all. Just be careful. Should I get that crystal? I don't have many. And until a few seconds ago I had zero, so... I feel like it might be worthwhile. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Why? Why does the camera do that? I don't like that either. Alright. I don't think going up is smart. But I'm not sure going along the shoreline is smart either? I mean, that kind of looks like a path, but it also kind of doesn't. Yeah, I see you upside down, Rainbow. I'd have to get through those rocks, which I think would be a problem. I think sticking to the shoreline maybe is okay. Please be okay. Oh god. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Can you boost for me? Oh, there we go. There we go. We're fine. Everything's fine. This uh, big ass rocks. Big ass rocks. So many roads out here. Oh god, how am I gonna get over there? How are we doing? We're so close. Boost for me. Boost for me. You can do this. Oh, I know. I know. I know. It's awful. It's god awful. Alright, do I go up or stay along the shoreline? Oh, frick. Frick. The road is kind of out this way, but this looks smooth to me. Do not tip over. For the love of everything, do not tip over. Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. Oh goodness. Alright, now we gotta go up, now we gotta go up, now we gotta go up. Don't tip over. We're good. Just be careful. Just be careful. Saying we're fine. We're doing just fine. Everything's fine. Battery's running out. We're gonna make it. Is this our destination? That looks a little close to be our destination. What is that? What happened here? Uh. Is this our destination? What the f Frick. I realize, I realize the battery is low. I have your thing. I have the important thing.
its evaluation. Okay, just slightly damaged. Ooh, I'm getting red on that side. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would have figured that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right. Enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. He needs you to help make it better. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Yeah, figured that out. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. So... <laughs> Good news, Sam. That antimatter bomb should stop the tar from spreading. Thanks for that. You really saved our bacon. I wasn't able to connect the Cupid, though. Loch Ness stepped in to stop me. She might not be in bridges anymore, but she still calls the shots around here. Wasn't much I could do after that. It's not like I could ignore her. You know, she's changed a lot ever since Mama got caught up in all that terrorism stuff. Stands to reason, of course, what with their relationship. Still, even if it's not my place, I've got to ask, could you go and talk to Mama about it? I've got a feeling they could patch things up if they just started speaking to each other again. If you do decide to go check your private locker, I left you some extra supplies. Should help you get to Mama's lab safe and sound. Thanks again, Sam. So we gotta go all the way back. Alright, what's... Oh, that's right, we're not connected. Bola gun, bridges, boots, climbing anchor, ladder. Might as well take all of it. I 
Should I take the truck? Leave the truck? We have to get back. How do I zoom out? Not in, out. No, no, no. No. Okay, whatever. Wait, over here? Freaking. Oh god. Uh, can I build. Uh, no. What? It's a heart. I think I just gotta somehow go up and around like a crazy idiot? Alright, well. I can pick up supplies along the way, I guess. Let me see if I can. Let's enter. Pri no, I can't enter private room. Alright. I gotta charge the vehicle. I gotta do something to it. I know. I know. Can I check out what the hell? So I can't- I'm not in the network, so I can't build a generator for the car. What is this? Weapons restrictions lifted. That's gross. Okay, I didn't know if something would happen if I stepped in it. You know? Don't like the look at that at all. What's that? That's ceramics. Lake, not city. I mean, we're not going that far. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff up here. I'm in the tar again. Get up here, Sam. Can I just collect some of the stuff? What did I... Ceramics? Robotis? Robotinus? What is all... Let's grab this. all the stuff up here. Eh. Oh, everybody going through the mountains. I don't know. I mean, I guess we can get up there. And just cross over somehow? I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust it. And if I gotta recharge my battery. I mean, I guess I could leave the car here. Take the PCs and see if I can just go over the mountains? Which would get me to the weather station. Wait, where's Mama? Here, It'll get me to the weather station if I tried to go over the mountains. Oh lord. Is this what I'm doing? Have I made this decision? Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. I think I've made this decision that we're gonna try it instead of circling all the way back. Uh We're off the grid, so I can't build I can't Print stuff. Floating carrier I'm gonna need. 